They're about to what expose and embarrass her in the most brutal way possible. You got a live ass your head game. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, yo! My boy was getting the top, the domey. <laughs> I'll tell you everything you need to know. Getting that MA special, man. <laughs> What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. And we in the Clutch, baby. Hey! Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another video today, you feel me? All right, for the first video of this uh, particular Twitch live stream reaction, shout this out to everyone that's watching right now. We're going to be checking out a female cop gets caught seducing inmates. This is wild, bro. Ooh. That algorithm of yours is Ooh. interesting, ain't it? it? Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. So <laughs> is she trying to seduce him in order to, like, get them? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe to get them to snitch. I don't know. Fuck a Happy Meal and, you know what I'm saying, McDonald's and stuff. The food route, they just seduce you to tell the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. It's going to be All interesting right, bro, to see what she does. <laughs> I don't mind it. Ross is fantasy. Wow, that's cold, bro. That's not my fantasy, bro. I'm not trying to be the in, a, in the interrogation room for any reason. So, come on. This is all for sir. A prison officer. Be this is Charlene O'Banion, a prison Damn, officer Charlene. being accused of sleeping with an inmate. He felt me. I was like soaking through my clothes. After hearing rumors from other officers that had seen her and Jason Parker together, an investigation was opened up. Charlene thinks she flew under the radar and got away, but what she doesn't know is that the detectives have all the evidence oh, they no. need, Man. and they're about to what expose and embarrass her in the most brutal way possible. You got a lot of that head game. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, yo! My boy was getting the top, the domey. <laughs> I'll tell you everything you need to know. Getting that MA special, man. Charlene. Oh, dun, dun, dun. man. That's something cold, about them Charlene's, bro. huh? Yeah, about something about them Charlene's, man. Right from the start, Charlene plays innocent and pretends she doesn't know anything about the allegations. Of course. We're notified of a possible improper relationship between you and uh, Jacob Parker. So we're here for that. And I just kind of want to talk to you about it and get your side of that story. I don't know about it. Damn. Okay. Have you talked to him on any jail phone calls or anything like that? Don't lie. Uh, no. Oh, not at all. Mm -hmm. Oh. Charlene is sure that this will work, but the detectives have much more evidence than they're letting on. And where would you think that this allegation would come from if there's nothing to it? Um, well, I had a feeling this was coming. So there was an inmate um, named Coker, Justin Coker. Okay. Coker. He got out of here for, I don't know, what period of time. And he tried to contact me on Facebook. He sent me a message and I blocked him on Facebook. And um, I guess one time Parker was going back to Equal to use the bathroom, and he was talking like at the window with me. Mm -hmm. And I guess Coker like, didn't like that, which I had block. no contact with him or anything. And um, Parker had told me that he had gone up to him and was like, don't talk to her or something crazy like that. So uh, I'm just not trying to be rude here. I'm just, yeah. why would you expect this conversation to come up from that? Like now, if that happened a few months ago. Charlene claims that the only time she's had contact with Jason was a single time outside the jail bathroom. Mm -hmm. And it was a Damn. jealous inmate that started the rumor. But the detective is about to share some evidence that instantly proves that Charlene is hiding something. Uh -oh. I don't know exactly where, how it started, like who it started from. Um, but I was told that it was brought to somebody's attention. And then we looked at jail calls and there's jail calls between you and Parker. Yeah. And all that stuff's recorded. So mm -hmm. I don't think you're being completely truthful. Well, I, I kind of know that you're not. And I'm not trying to be rude when I say that. Yeah, no. Um, I'm just kind of trying to lay it out. Hey, just be honest, bro. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, you. they got you. So yeah, they got yeah, you. Yeah, you got lonely one day. You just end up getting. You was in the mood. And yeah, you was in the mood, man. Inmate was the closest thing available, and yeah. you know, whoopty woo. Yeah, did your thing. You know what I'm saying? Served them his rights respectfully. Respectfully, for sure, for sure. So yeah, kind of. They got you now. They got the recording. It's it's GGs, bro. Just let it go. Just, just let it go. Just tell the truth. Come on, Charlie. Can you kind of tell me? What's going on here? 
um, I guess a few years ago, we we talked, and then I ended up here, and then he ended up here. I didn't know he was here. I didn't like. It wasn't anything like that. Right. And, and, <clears throat> Apparently, Charlene and Jason knew each other before prison and messed around before they both ended up here. This led to them joking around with each other here, but nothing else. Or at least, hmm. that's what she claims. In reality, the cops have recorded phone calls from inside the prison that tell a completely different story. Yeah. So what about some of these phone conversations? Um... No, no, not here or the phone. I thought no, I just mean the conversations y'all were having on the phone. No, no. Since he's been in here. Like, like sexual? Well, not, I'm not saying having phone sex, talking about sexual acts. My, from what I'm listening to on the calls, I take it as that you've given him oral sex at oh. some point. Is what hey. no, I, I gather from these calls. No, it's okay, baby. Mm, it's, hey, Charlene. it's okay. <clears throat> Charlene. Why are you lying? Why it's okay. are you always lying? If someone hit you with the multiple fast, no, 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 no. It's a whole bunch of yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah, somebody said the inmate who wasn't getting any snitch. Yeah, because <clears throat> <laughs> that's crazy, bro. That's Man, some... she ain't giving me no top. <laughs> yeah, I ain't getting none. Nobody getting none. Facts. That's some hating stuff. No, that was like in the world, but we never like we never dated. We just. Okay. What kind of conversations have you had with him since? You started working here, and he's been in the jail. Uh, Reminiscing. Talking about what would happen after he got out. And then the jail call recordings. Have you been talking to him like while you're at home? Right. Like he calls you from the jail while you're at home? Or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just 15 Damn, minutes into this interrogation, Charlene's original story is seeming less and less like the truth. She's been caught in multiple lies, admitted to having sexual relations with Jason in the past, and calling him regularly from her own home. This is highly irregular behavior for a prison officer, yeah. and it doesn't take a genius to realize something deeper may be going on. But the detective has some more questions pertaining to some more physical evidence. I haven't Somebody see you listened say to this, but apparently there may be some talk in the calls about like photographs. Have you given him any photographs? Mm -mm. I gave him a photograph of his mom, which he had asked for, and of his dog, Jax. Okay. Yeah. Have you given him any photographs of you? Mm -mm. No, because... So one of the things we're going to be doing is like looking at cameras and stuff, too. Has there been any times where y'all were alone? Mm -mm. Bro, just be honest. There's no point in lying at this point, right. man. Like, you might yeah. as well just go ahead, say it. Because he ain't yeah. asking questions if they don't got the evidence. Yeah, bro. She just, she's committed to it. She's committed to the lie. Just like she like, was committed to yeah. the, the head, you know? Yeah. Like she, <laughs> she was committed, all right. <laughs> you or anything like that? Anything that's going to look suspicious that way? I don't think so. It's important to remember that Charlene has worked at this prison for a while now, and as such will know all the ins and outs of everything such as security camera blind spots and patrol officer schedules. You'd think that with all this knowledge, it'd be easy to hide a relationship with an inmate. But it seems that she forgot about a few vital pieces of information. Not least the facts that all phone calls placed from the prison are recorded. Mm. But thanks to the detectives, she's about to be reminded of this fact oh, in damn. a devastating Not way. Not over my hey, baby. Go back. Baby, guess what? What day? I just won the blackjack game. <laughs> bro, they're talking like yeah. a full couple, bro. Like, dog. Hey, hey babe. Guess hey, what, babe? Hey. Oh, bro. Man, this nigga talking like he at the corner store or something. Bro, she gave him that A1 top. Because <laughs> he hit the, hey, babe, guess what I just wanted? <laughs> bro, look, bro. She rubbing her eyelash. She knows it's, it. She knows it's up. Over. It's what's up? over. I just want $30. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to clean and get rid of before you come home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'm just fucking with you. I was trying to make you think I have all these secret things. Yeah, Somebody said, do. what's her What? Act? What? What? what do you mean? I don't know. You probably got this weird sex swing hanging from the ceiling. Candace probably thinks it's a swing set. Oh, if I had that sex swing, you better believe I'd leave that sucker up for you. Hey, yo. The sex wing? 
<laughs> Baby, we're about to use these cuffs for another reason. Stop right. resisting. Stop resisting. Or keep resisting. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I That's... got you for three minutes. <laughs> Three minutes of playtime. Damn, bro. Not the swing. She done. She done, so. Oh, man. Damn, bro. Yeah, it's over for her, bro. Did you really? Hell yeah. Did you really? let me put you in it? Yeah. The With questions. Gag and everything? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> she down. She, she, she said, all right. She, she, she hit that. Yeah. Yeah, she did that bro. little laugh, the playoff laugh, like yeah, you just she, don't even know. Yeah, Damn. bro, she a freak. That's wild. She a freak, freak. She down <laughs> bad though. Yeah, bro. She Somebody just... say a Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, babe. Listening to your own voice can be bad enough for some people, but listening to your own sexual phone calls in silence with two detectives in the room as you realize you've just been caught red-handed fire has got to be worse than Ooh. any prison system said, imagine she was in North, Amer- North However, Korea doing with the that. language they've used so far, Should there's no evidence that the pair have actually engaged in any sexual acts. But that changes quickly Uh-oh. as Jason begins to directly incriminate Charlene on the call. I feel like you're looking at sometimes be like, damn, my woman's fine. Fine is wine. Mm-hmm. And you got a, a live ass fucking head game. Oh my god. <laughs> oh like my god. Myth. <laughs> Give me a live ass fucking head game. Oh my god. I don't know What's how that? they didn't. What didn't side know is he this on? was being recorded though. That's what like, I'm saying. She worked there. Like, yeah, damn. like you every phone call is recorded. Like, I don't know how she didn't, you know. Him, what I'm him too. Like, I, I ain't trying to help the situation because this is not this is not this is illegal. Yeah. But it's yeah. like, come on, fam. Yeah, bro. If y'all wanted to keep continue to keep the keep the show going, you kind of have to sh- be quiet on that one. Why is she gawking and telling? <laughs> she doing too much man yeah, it was in my best moment so I was just trying to get it done meh, meh. Bed? don't even get me thinking about that because it makes me so horny <laughs> like just going back and thinking about yeah. that get you horny? oh yeah you felt me I was like soaking through my clothes hey! <laughs> you get very horny very easy oh, I always want to have that like that's not even Bro, she must be exploding inside. No pun intended. No pun intended. Bro. Not she ain't exploding like that right now. <laughs> yeah, she. Oh my! Dang. Uh, Somebody, yeah. she a freak. She a freak, freak, certified freak, bro. She is Dang. getting. She getting cooked. <laughs> she getting cooked for real. And not good. Dang. I mean, I feel like I just like look at someone. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. No, like of course, like. I only get horny for you. Over. It does over. seem how that sounds from like my point of view. She's more like a more recent thing than three years ago. Yeah, it's over, bro. Mm-hmm. The audacity she has to say She's no saying after hearing no. that phone call is truly remarkable. Oh, oh fam. It, Let it go. She's not going down easily. The detectives try asking her if she thinks Jason girlfriend. would cover for her, and she still doesn't break, sticking to her story that everything that happened happened outside of prison. Technically, this story could still be true with this phone call, but it definitely is odd for the couple to be recounting events from over three years ago yeah. in such detail. Yeah. Especially when <laughs> earlier she struggled to remember any details about the relationship. Mm-hmm. You talk about how profound this was, like this giving him this blowjob was, but you like don't remember anything about anything about it. It's like uh, telling me something that you're having trouble coming up with details about it, you know what I mean? Like if it's that profound. I mean, I gave him a blowjob. How, how do you ex- describe the blowjob? I mean, is that Well, I don't want to know like about the blowjob. I'm just, yeah. so- Is that really what we're just saying? Just using that term? That happened three years ago, I feel like you would kind of remember some stuff about it. Like, I yeah, feel like, I mean, like we said in the car, we, you know. Like when I asked Oh, now she know the location. Him, of course, like when y'all met or whatever. And then when I asked like, who else, you said it was like a bunch of friends. Yeah. But like you can remember one I mean, thing after you Chris. think about it for 30 seconds. So yeah, I mean, that's I was... not making sense to me. You seem to have blanks in your memory when we get to certain details. She but you remember being groped in the blowjob from three years ago. 
find that hard to believe. Okay. <laughs> This is your one chance to be honest with us. Be honest. And once we get up and walk out and we're done, mm -hmm. we're done. Have y'all had any inappropriate contact, whether it's groping, blow jobs, vaginal, anal sex, anything, hand jobs? Yes, I am being vulgar to get a point across. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, say, I'm done with this shit. Just it's over, bro. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, she she cooked us up. She should. But at just... least she stuck. She stuck to it um, ignorantly. But you know, yeah. hey, I don't see why not just tell the truth. Yeah, bro. It's everybody in the chat, yeah, go ahead and put the GGs. Yeah, GGs, bro. Yeah, yeah. Someone yeah. said she ain't the baby. Nah, she definitely not the, the baby. <laughs> the, far from it. She far from it. If y'all seen our video of uh the baby not telling a goddamn thing. She might uh she might have been catching the babies. Yeah, but she definitely not the babies. <laughs> As the detectives say, things no, really I'm aren't adding Drake up. Stupid, yet she's dog. still sticking to her story. Or at least she was before a switch flipped and she said this. What is it? Uh, I might have given him a blowjob. Yep, there we go. There we go. There we go. How long ago was that? Uh, four months ago. Four months ago. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, about four months ago. The secret's out and Charlene has confessed. But this matter is more complex than it may seem. In cases of officer inmate relations, the main question that arises is the issue of consent. Given that Jason and Charlene knew each other prior to being in prison, it's not wrong to assume that consent went both ways in this interaction. Mm -hmm. However, in these cases, that's actually completely irrelevant. According to a 2005 report, federal law criminalizes all sexual relations and contact between prison staff and inmates, yep. and that all sexual relations between staff and inmates are considered abuse, even if the act would have been considered consensual yep. if it occurred outside of a prison. Of yep. This is because of the- Yeah, you can't be, ha can't be out there smashing the inmates and vice versa. The inmates can't be smashing the guards. Cause right. Then it's a conflict of interest, because at that point, then potential feelings get involved, yeah, special, special, favors, special favors, all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, and that can be problematic. It's dangerous. It's very in dangerous. The prison system, bro. So, yeah, no, nah, it don't matter if it's consensual. No, nah, it's still, they don't want no guards doing that at all. So. Huge amount of inmate abuse that was observed in prisons. In 1996, it was estimated that between 12 and 14% of all prison inmates had been sexually assaulted and the officers were rarely punished. Yep. So to prevent this, a zero tolerance policy was introduced to try and prevent abuse towards inmates. A policy, it seems, that Charlene completely ignored. I'm gonna ask, but I feel like I know the answer. I'm losing my job. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's that's not really up to me. Um, internal affairs is aware. Investigation is separate. It's over. Yeah, you lost it. Yeah, you lost it. <clears throat> Go ahead and then, uh, well, nah, you can't even file for unemployment because you I, probably get yeah, fired. Definitely getting fired you were so. in the wrong on that situation yep i'm sorry ma'am uh you can hit up indeed and see what they got you feel me indeed uh, <laughs> you don't have to do from ours because there's it's, it's two totally different um things so yeah what um, kind of charges like so it's it's illegal to have sexual contact with an inmate as an employee Yep. So, um, she forgot that in the handbook. The ball kind of be in the record, but I'll let you know as soon as I hear something. It's all, um, yeah, just I mean, yeah. I go to jail? that's up to the DA's office. Damn. As it turns out, Charlene would lose her job, and the only time she'd ever be allowed back in jail would be for the 100 days that she'd be made to serve. Oh, after being found this is guilty. in Houston. Oh, wow. A jail deputy who pleaded guilty to improper sexual activity with a person in custody has been sentenced to 100 days in jail. Houston or former Montgomery. Oh, That's Montgomery God. County too. Yeah, God damn it. <laughs> That's what the fuck. Who would have thought? <laughs> of course, someone said in the chat. <laughs> we do begin down though. That's wild, bro. Someone said I'm going to Houston, y'all. <laughs> I figured people was gonna start saying that. Wow. Just, the of sexual knew. activity with a person in custody. Damn. Well, well, more of the story, man. If you in those type of jobs, man, control yourself, bro. Yeah. Control yourself. It's no no amount of sex is worth losing your job over. 
And I'm pretty sure she was probably getting paid some decent money to do that. So no, for sure. And then you go to jail. And yeah, then that's to, um that's on your record. And then now when you're trying your, to find another yep. job, it yep. becomes hard. So it's not worth it, man. And then he didn't yeah. make it no better. He nope. and got some man on you. It's like, come on, bro. What? You yeah. on a prison phone, bro. To be like, honest with you, he jail. probably nothing probably happened to him. Yeah, no, nah, because it's it's sexual abuse to the inmate. Right, yeah, nothing happened so, to him. Even so though he, he can send the- it. That's crazy, bro. Damn. What's the saying? City boys is <laughs> Yep, nah, yeah, man. He definitely up for uh, all uh she got a hundred days in jail, a hundred extra points in the city Facts. boys. Damn. Look, look, on to the next guard. On to the next guard. <laughs> but, but nah, man, if y'all enjoyed that one, y'all already know what wow. to do, man. This was super wild, man. Super, uh, super wild. Crazy to know at the end of the day that it happened in Houston. That's Damn. crazy, bro. These are the people walking down the streets next to us, <sighs> man. Ridiculous. But uh, make sure you run up the like, subscribe. Let us know if y'all Ooh. want to check out some more of these, man. Keep For on sure. supporting us. Spreading love, being love, twitching here live with us. If you want to check us out live doing these reactions, catch us on Wednesdays, every Wednesday. Make sure keep on coming, support. You. Peace out. All right. This from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.